Taurus, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Um, I upload a new video every single week. So Taurus, please do click subscribe and ring that bell so that you'll know as soon as I upload the new content. This is an oracle card reading. Energies, intuitively drawn. So it could be for Taurus, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, wherever Taurus energy influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies or themes for the next week or so. No dates anymore on the videos. There's always an extended video though, always. And that link is down below in the description box. What it does is it takes the themes and the energy of this reading, it expands upon it, it articulates it, and it personalizes it. And it also includes a romantic uh, a romantic specific reading. You can always look at the romance tarot, romantic tarot. I upload that every single Sunday that's already live on my channel. You can take a look at that as well. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. That wants to come out, but it was stubborn and hidden. Taurus, Taurus. A rebirth is assured, but it's upside down. Lots of these things are coming upside down for you. Um, let's put it this way. You are definitely not comfortable right now. What is the crowning energy? Set healthy boundaries. So this is, this is the energy, the overall theme of your reading is set healthy boundaries. But if you look at his eyes, this is Cancerian energy. This is not somebody who has set healthy boundaries. This armadillo is just weighed down by the armor that it has to carry around all the time, not really being considered the most huggable or lovable creature, but really just completely needing a hug. It's almost like you've needed a hug so bad, but the armor and the defenses you've set up is so thick, nobody knows that you need it. You're trying to make everything look like everything is fine, like you're all good, but you're not being really honest with people because the truth is, something is crushing you inside and this this armor is going to crush you even more it's going to make matters worse why because it's too heavy because all it does is add weight um, on an already delicate situation so this is a sense of maybe being too hard on people definitely being too hard on yourself a circumstance coming down on you really heavy and you not knowing it's like it's it's so much already that you don't know how to ask for help. Um, I think honestly, the best solution when you don't know how to ask for help is first of all, you start with prayer. You ask that entity, the universe, God, whatever you believe in, um, you, you, you ask them for help. And the wonderful thing about it is it, at the very least it's practice. It's practice saying, help me. I need help. Please help me. Please do something. Somebody intervene. I want getting yourself to the point to where you can admit that you want somebody to intervene because the burdens are too much because right now it seems like there's just so much freaking burden it feels like you're going to collapse like literally just whoosh, implosion um life is speeding up no it's not it's almost like you feel like you're stuck in the ground running with your feet in the air you're not getting anywhere everything has come to a halt just really slowed down and as wonder but this is communications because this is gemini energy this sense of feeling really unbalanced and really unstable. Maybe you're communicating more with a person and they're not communicating enough with you or they're not seeing that you need help really badly because it's, it's, it's almost like they're not picking up on or maybe you're not telling them that you need the help that you need. Either way, you're in a circumstance of distress and people aren't getting that they need to come in and rescue and that you need help. It's like it's, it's too burdensome right now for you to even talk about. Lay a solid foundation is here. This is Virgo energy. So uh, this is the energy of six something cultivating. Um, uh, the energy of cultivating, of uh, building things slowly, laying a foundation brick by brick. This is a family. You could be dealing with family that has established themselves and done things in a specific way for so long. Then you, you, you feel crushed under the tradition of it all. You feel 
totally crushed and burdened under the expectation of, well, this is the way that things are always done. And you can't even argue the point because you know, whoever you're arguing with won't listen to you. They'll always come back with a reason why it's not right or, or why what you're suggesting isn't right. And the reason why they're doing it and, and the, the way, the reason why they always win their battle, their fight is, is always, is always, well, that's the way things are always done. And that's safety. And that's what people are being told and this is that and this is that and so they crush you with formalities they crush you with status quo when all you want to do is scream and yell you boring you you boring blind dumbass like stop stop pretending like somehow you have some superiority when really you're just bumping your butt around in the dark you don't know what you're talking about you're not seeing things for what they really are and you're completely and totally stuck in the dark that's what you want to say to them but at the same time it's like they keep bombarding you with status quo and rules and do this and do th like like but this is why i'm right a sense of superiority you just can't take it there's a lot of stress here right now um overcome any obstacle once again is flipped upside down this is once again feeling stuck those horns stuck in the ground those feet in the air feeling like there's that you can't you can't battle this like this is a fight that you can't win. Like this is a battle you can't win. And also being stuck, really not knowing how to contribute, um, to contribute to the motion here. This really is interesting because you are a slow moving energy Taurus. You usually like tradition, but there's something really irritating about you. And I tell you, it's because intuitively, you know that something is wrong and that something is just not right. And, but it's, it's almost like you don't know how to put those, you don't know how to say it. You don't know how to put, um, you don't know how to put your ideas into words and it's really frustrating you and almost making you victim or subjugated to the establishment or whoever can talk fast and whoever is talking fast. I'm telling you right now, confirmation, they are blind as a bat. They don't know what the, they're talking about. They don't, they don't. And yet they're the one sort of loading, lording over you. Um, yep, I'm not surprised that this energy flipped upside down. This is the energy of eight, four plus four is eight, an energy of destiny, feeling completely drained, feeling like, is this my destiny? Is this, is this how I'm supposed to feel right now? Feeling a loss of energy, a loss of importance, and even in some ways sort of uh, frightened by an invisible specter that you can't, but it's almost like you're being held captive by an invisible captor, by somebody that you can't see or put your finger on. And I know, wouldn't that be a good, um, wouldn't that be a good metaphor for everybody and everything right now? But this is more, I'm telling you, this is a lot closer to home and a lot more personal. Um, um, because the truth of somebody else clinging to status quo or rules or a draconian sense of structure, organization, establishment, the, the truth about it is that there's something you know that they're scared of and they're hiding and they don't want to confront and you're having to deal with that. It's like you're taking the brunt of it all. Look at this heartbroken heart. This could be ill health, poor health, um, people not confronting it or trying to hide their health from you or you trying to hide your health from them. This could just be illness, um, sickness or um, a broken heart, a sense of detachment, a sense of not belonging or not being loved or not feeling cared for or not feeling like you have options to care for anybody or to be cared for or for care. That's what I want to say. No options for care. Um, and this is, this comes out, are you dealing with a Leo? Are you dealing with somebody that keeps looking forward that just keeps wanting to run away from their issues? There's just, it's almost like th from the outside, they look very confident. It's like they're nothing's wrong there. They don't see how burdensome their confidence is because their confidence is based on BS. It's not based on truth. It's just, they're using their confidence to make them comfortable and it doesn't really matter to them if they're dealing in reality or not. And for some reason, you have to deal with this person and they're, uh, it's, it's driving you crazy. It's driving you crazy. It's driving you crazy because it, it, they, they won't listen to you when you tell them they don't know as much as they think they know. You know, and, and they, they, just, they just can't listen. The truth is this, 
They can't listen. They're scared. They're petrified. And all of this arrogance and overconfidence is because of fear. It's because they just, they, they, they don't know how to deal with the circumstance. They, they get worse. And this you're dealing with somebody who is getting worse and worse, the less control they feel like they have. Just to let you know. And that's why they're so defensive. And they use, they'll pull out all the stops. Once again, look at what's flipped upside down. Yeah, there is somebody literally tying you up, trapping you, setting traps intentionally for what you say. Maybe even like wiretapping and like kind of like real laid out traps. Like, what are you saying? Or why did you send that information to this person? Or why are they reading your emails? They're so paranoid. They're just like watching over your shoulders as to who are you communicating with? Who have you been communicating with? They're actually trying to set you up to get you to say something just so they can argue with you and feel better about themselves. It's almost like they're using you as the fall guy. Darn, man. Um, magic works through you and slow and steady wins the race. So this is really interesting. This is part of your grounding energy too. This sense of emotional maturity and this sense of hope and faith in yourself that you are actually being called into the circumstance or situation to guide people through it and to lead the way. So listen to me very carefully. Speak your truth. Even, even if it sounds ridiculous or they make it sound ridiculous, and even if they keep interrupting you, finish your sentence. Slow and steady wins the race. Remember, Turtle ignored hair. He, it, the race wasn't about the, the, uh, beating the hair. He, he focused on the race. So focus on the issues, focus on the information that you have, and keep speaking, I'm saying, Cast your spell, say it out loud. Because you know what, Taurus? Eventually, even when they kind of shut you down or walk away or won't listen to you, you're still saying it over and over again is going to wear it down and make a difference. It's going to create a new flow. Let me flip the camera around. Hold on. So this is your spread, okay, um, in review. And this is the interesting grounding energy that we're working with right here. I want to review it with you. This is your crowning energy of just, just overburdened and not being able to talk or say, or how could you talk or say? It almost feels like you're dealing with somebody that you can't get a word in with. <laughs> so, so like what it's like, but, but understand something Taurus, believing that is them winning, believing that it doesn't matter if I say it anyway. It does matter. Relieve your own burden by once again getting back this sense of emotional security inside yourself. Really finding it inside of you, the magic inside of you to say what you need to say anyway, even if they argue with you, even if they won't shut their mouths. Even if they throw accusations at you and try to bury you with screaming and yelling or, or accusing you of being irresponsible just because you don't agree with them. Like this person is going to stop at nothing to try to diminish everything about you. But the truth is this, you hold the essence, you hold, um, the way forward and you do know what's best. If you need somebody to support you. Fall back on this reading, man. I'm supporting you right now. I'm telling you, Taurus, you really do know best, but you have been completely flipped upside down. And I think it's because you're taking so much responsibility on your shoulders and it could be making you ill just to let you know it could be like wearing on you to your paper thin and to you really, um, uh, can't move around or can't get around. Like almost like maybe I said that you could be getting sick. You could be getting ill. Um, but there is a sense of dealing with somebody who is so stubborn, they won't make any move forward anyway because they're sick. They're either sick in the head or they're sick in the heart or they're sick in both ways. There's a sickness here that is quite disturbing because um, it's they don't even realize it or they won't acknowledge it. Look, this this guy thinks they're fine. There's, there's no way you're sitting on all these other cards and end up being fine. You're not fine at all. You're completely faking it. And this isn't even the card of like faking it till you make it. This is that bad side of confidence. That bad side of Leo energy is competent. It's, it's like 
confidence without any competence at all. Believing and, and seeing yourself at a higher level or as more than, than you are at all. Like a disassociation from oneself is what it is. And it's really unhealthy energy. And the truth is, if I were you, I would just say it to them. You're totally disassociated from everything about yourself. You have no idea what you're talking about, but you keep running your mouth and it's really sad. And they're going to probably spew all kinds of hate at you. And it's the tricky kind of hate that makes them sound good. I know you know what I'm talking about. You may be dealing with a Gemini. You may be dealing with a Scorpio. There's a sense of somebody like really that really has a lot of confidence in what they say. And yet at the same time, it's very manipulative. So you'll know exactly who I'm talking about. You know exactly who I'm talking about already, Taurus. Um, you know what? Let's. This is a good time to go into the extended and get more information about this person, about the situation, and hopefully the resolution. Also, your romance reading. So, Taurus, that link is below. Please, um, um, yeah, please come over and continue the journey with me. I'll see you guys in the extended.